welcome back to uh, Sudoku to Let's Go Sudoku series. Um, now we are going to make the the, um, the generator slash uh, solver <coughs> for the Sudoku. But before that, I have noticed uh, a few mistakes. Like this thing is uh, dimension. So let's uh, rename that. Current project. Why? Okay. I hope this is okay now. <clears throat> and uh, yeah. Now this is one mistake I made. Let's uh, make the, the comment back down here. And let's see what else. Yeah, also, what I want to do is, uh, I can, we can move that function, wait, uh, inside here, I mean, why not? Let's build, make sure everything is working. <clears throat> And run it. Yeah. Now, uh, what I'm thinking is, I will make um, a generator that will generate the entire um, puzzle, and then it will um, uh, set zero all the numbers except a few ones. So we are 100% sure that um, the puzzle the puzzle is solvable okay and the way i'm thinking actually i have cheated a little bit i made some test testings before so i know the method is working i will make here another uh, function i will call that generate And that thing will get a grid T pointer for the grid. Okay, like this. And uh, yeah. Now we do need a few more things. Mm. Here I need an array. I'm not sure if well okay. Let's let, let's do it inside here. Uh I need an array here of uh candidates, nine candidate numbers for itself. And I need candidates total, which uh, is zero for now at least. Okay, like so. Okay. Then I need another function, which I will call it um, randomize candidates, and that will get um, what we get. We get um, grid T. Actually, this is cell structure, right? Mm. 
Да. О, бой. Let's um, rename it. Apply. Yeah, because this, the grid is a grid of cells. Okay. <coughs> Okay, <clears throat> and that will get cell like this. <clears throat> All right. Nice. I didn't st start the timer. I guess we can start it now. <clears throat> um, okay. Let's see what else do we need. I think we are okay. Now for the randomize, uh, I will have a vector of uh, UI32 nums and that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 and then randomize random sample nums begin Nums and so we randomize this um, vector here and then i equals zero i plus i less than num size i plus plus mm, cell that dates i equal nums of i Okay, and then we need also to make the candidate total equals with uh, the nums size here. That's for the randomi randomization. Yeah. So the first thing here is to randomize all the candidates from all the cells. I is less than uh, Sudoku grid, is it? Yeah, R plus plus. And uh, randomize candidates. Grid I. And I will get the others for that. There you go. Okay. Then we we have the <coughs> the index of uh, the current uh, number we are uh, we we are about. What we will do is we will. Uh, Place a candidate in the um, in the in the grid. Then we will go to the next cell. If for any reason there are no more candidates, we we'll we stepping back and uh, testing the next candidate. So here we need to do a while loop while the index is less than the um, Sudoku grid. We have some work to do. Okay. Now, um, 
we are going to get the value we need to get the first candidate uh, candidate value and that value is equal to read of index candidates of And it's total. And before we grab the value, we need to go ahead and um, subtract this first, right? Okay. And then we need to go ahead and check if Sudoku check. Agreed. Now the position will be. I rec to position I rec to is the index modulus the Sudoku dimension and for the Y is index is integer division Sudoku dimension okay so that gives us the position in the grid and we're taking that and the candidate value like so and if that test pass then we are going to the grid and we're setting the value to the candidate value and we have finished with that index, we are moving to the next one. Okay. Yeah. Okay, with that part. Now there is the um, the possibility, of course, that that uh, all the candidates get um, um, the candidates total gets to zero. That means we have no more candidates, so we need to go one step back <coughs> and the way we will do that is. If we have no more candidates in our index, because it's time we de-increment by one here, then <coughs> we need to randomize oh, randomize candidate, right? Like this. It's one. We need to use again that function randomize candidate the candidate the the cell we are in right now so uh, we are passing this thing here then we we going one step back and also it's very important to go ahead before we move it back before we before we go back one step to the index we need to go ahead and uh, set the value to zero here because uh, we must clear that and also clear the previous one like this Yeah. And uh, that should it. Yeah. 
Hopefully. Um, to, now we will have. Uh, we need to to test basically this, okay? And we need to test it uh, in real time so to make sure everything is going okay. And uh, what I will do is for now, for now, I will move that index here like this, and then. I will cancel that loop here. So we're stepping uh, each time, one time in, in this uh, generate generate function, and I will have this function happen in uh, the update frame, so we can visually see what is happening on screen, like this, and. I am going to pass the grid here. Let's build. Let's run it. <coughs> Great. Nothing happened. Why? Oh boy. Also here <laughs> we need to return, right? And also let's um clear all the thing. Great, and the value is five. That should return true. Yeah. Right, we need to <clears throat> do the randomization here one time, right? Okay, the index is one. Now the index gets to two. That's it. The index gets to two, but uh, why it is updating the first one? Yeah, of course, of course. Okay. Okay. And 
there we have it nice and if index is less than to the push grid then just return And there we have it. A complete set of a Sudoku uh, puzzle solved, right? Now this is always the same. Let's um, try some more. Let's go ahead here during the loading. And let's uh, see the randomizer with time. to have different values for, for the testing. Okay, now we start with three here. There it is. Uh, let's run again. Now we start with two. And there we go. Nice. Okay, and now that we know that this thing it is working, we will move that index again inside here. Like this. We will enable the while loop here. And that will be continue okay so the while loop will be will continue <coughs> and what else yeah we need to do that again with move that thing into here all right and then we're getting that call and we call it here, right? Like so. Okay, so let's see. And there we go. This is one. This is the other. No, no, no. This is the other. So we we need to make also these separations here. Maybe I don't know to draw a white line here instead of black. I don't know. Okay. No, so now once we have this, we are going to select some random numbers. From the entire set and then make them read only and clear the rest. Uh, so the second function is select um, random actually generate re uh. Uh. do stuff <laughs> mm. select random select numbers okay and cell t pointer grid 
I don't know, maybe here how many numbers? Let me pick bones, greater to two, total like this. Okay. i equals zero, i is less than uh, total i plus plus, and we are going to pick a random position for that i vec two. Position and that will be uh, and modulus so duku dimension and the same also for this and we will check if position y times sudoku dimension plus sudoku sudulu so, uh, plus position y grid actually constant ah uh, no no grid of that thing no, no, yeah, const let's uh, get the index there. If it is not read only. Then uh, we will make. <laughs> okay. Actually, no, 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 no. Let's uh, do it while is read only. Select another index here. Hmm. can say if it is only to go the I one step back, but in general is not a good approach that. So <sighs> okay. Let's say it like this. And then I'm going to for the grid of that index. And set that to be true. And the background color is going to be. Do I have a background? I think I don't. Yeah, I don't. Okay. I do. <laughs> I mean, um, like this here and right after that 
let's uh, select a few numbers after the loading read let's select 10 numbers hmm that's always a bad sign right Nothing will generate well in this file, okay? How about the next <laughs> hmm. why There we go. Nice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we have, uh, let's say, fifteen? Yes, we can. Can we have thirty? Yeah, there it is. I love it. I like it. And after that, we need another function, of course. Clear no clear uh, not read only values. So t pointer read. We need to hide now the numbers, but um, the player must um, fill in. If read sub i is not read only, then The value is uh, zero. Perfect. I'm passing the grid there. And one last function void initialize 
funnel grid cell t star grid and that is basically basically for the colors and I will go ahead and say grid i dot um, highlight color equals grid i the background yeah it is not a const initialize grid and grid there it is and there we have it we cannot delete that and we have those values here <coughs> let's say seven Six, four, eight, six, yeah, and there it is, guys. Now we are one hundred percent sure that the entire uh, puzzle is solvable and uh, it's, uh, I like it, it's good not sure if it is fun but it is working and one last thing I, I need to do for that and then finish it completely is uh, to make those red lines to also be for the um, for the regions and also to separate these like okay so let's do that also um, Go ahead for the check. Uh, oh, also, this is a uh, three by three. I'm not sure what I was thinking. Mm. Then we need to go ahead again. Okay. Now this is a definition, right? But will that work? I'm not sure. Not oh, there, there. Visual Studio doesn't even give me an error there. So let's see. Let's try this. Will that work? Come on.
No, it doesn't. Future wire. Oh, not region position. Not bad. We need the Y and the X. No, we don't need that. <laughs> uh, we need Y plus. Plus that, then x plus dx like this. There it is. Nice. Now we're getting this in place there. Okay. So that's great. And the last final touch for this thing is uh, draw the quad We can draw quads or we can make the entire grid more colorful, right? I don't know. I don't know. For now, I will just leave it as it is. And uh, if um, I decide, I will return to make this uh, more uh, colorful or more advanced. But uh, yeah, this is uh, working Sudoku. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will see you again. Bye-bye.